Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Gomber's here. Uh, if... Okay, I literally got 60 seconds before this starts. Um, <clears throat> so, Mark Twan has his single coming out, so of course I'm going to react to it as soon as it's out. Um, if you, I don't know if you, any of you guys have caught the channel earlier today or caught the stream earlier today, but we checked out a bunch of GOT7 stuff actually, surprisingly. Um, I will have those out as soon as I can. Um, but it's gonna take me some time because I it was four hours worth of reactions, guys. I marathoned a lot of stuff. Um, but if you guys want to check out one of my live stream reactions, um, it's over on Twitch, Gombers810. I'll leave a link in the description and pinned in the comments. Um, and I also have a schedule posted on my Twitter at the underscore Gombodian. I'll also have a link for that in the description as well. Um, that's where I'll have a pinned com or a pinned tweet with my schedule for the month. Um, I believe the 26th and 27th, one of those days, I'll be doing a GOT7 stream marathon. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that and check that out, check out those places. There will be updates and everything there. Um, all right. I'm so excited. We're like a minute away. And I haven't watched any teasers. I haven't watched anything. I've seen like a couple of stills and stuff that were on over Twitter. But otherwise... <clears throat> I don't know anything. I think I maybe heard a clip of Last Breath yesterday when I tuned in for Mark's Instagram live. Um, also, by the way, he played Pandora right after... Yeah, right after I posted about Pandora when he was playing Ribbon, when Bam Bam was in the chat, and so I'm taking that credit that he ended up getting Pandora idea from me. Anyway. <laughs> oh, two minutes, for two minutes. It's so weird. I've been just doing live stream reactions for the last couple days, so or like last, yeah, like week almost now, and uh, it's weird not having the chat and talking to you guys. But it's okay. I'm excited to get this out. I'll get this out. Honestly, I'm probably gonna try and edit this as soon as I'm done recording it to play that as possible, like why you guys can have it in between streams for a. Uh, for Mark single. So close, so close. But yeah, today we checked out two of Got Seven's Japanese songs. I don't remember. One was Reborn. It was a Young J and JB uh, duet, and the other one was. Uh, got six in Japan. I think around 2016. I don't quite remember the name of the song, um, but Sandy was in there hanging out with me. I appreciate that, Sandy. Thank you. Um, then I also checked out Panda Pack and A uh, Hundred Ways and Panda Pack Buzz. Uh, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Now we're turning this up for Mark. Back off a minute, I need to be alone just to breathe. I try to hold it, somehow it doesn't do anything, it's hopeless. You come around, I close my lips for you. You leave and I could finally let loose. Oh I never really knew that we would end up this way. Usually don't know how to handle these things, but I'm trying my best. Can't you tell? There's that Instagram post. One last breath in me. I know you want to take it away. You got your hands around my throat. So I only breathe when I'm alone. There's none left in me. You really keep the way. It's hard to inhale when you're too close. So I only breathe when I'm alone. Can't hold it back. I'm suffocating. You're controlling me and I can't escape. Oh no. I wish I would have known about your evil plans. Keep falling for these childish games again. All to me, I don't want to play. Oh no. I never really needed you to hold my hand. Usually don't know how to handle these things, but I'm trying my best. Can't you tell? One 
last breath in me I know you wanna take it away You got your hands around my throat So I only breathe when I'm alone There's none left in me You don't really carry the way It's hard to inhale when you're too close So I only breathe when I'm alone One last breath in me Wow. <clears throat> I think Man, our guys just gave us some of the most emotional singles ever like between Jackson's Drive You Home, Young Jay's Lonely and Last Breath. There is some heaviness going on, which I understand. I want to watch this again though, because there is so much, so much. Here we go. Off a minute, I need to be alone just to breathe. I try to hold it, somehow it doesn't do anything. It's hopeless. You come around, I close my lips for you. You leave, and I could finally let loose. I never really knew that we would end up this way. Usually, don't know how to handle these things, but I'm trying my best. Can't you tell? Last breath in me I know you wanna take it away You got your hands around my throat So I only breathe when I'm alone There's none left in me You don't really carry the way It's hard to inhale when you're too close So I only breathe when I'm alone So first things I want to point out is um, From the second watch through I've noticed there's a lot more emphasis in the mirrors I wasn't catching first. Um, the first time I watched it, I was really just kind of soaking in the whole thing. Um, and just the emotional, like, expressiveness of the whole thing. And with this one, I, I remember in the first watch through, there was a huge important shot where he punched the mirror and you could see his reflection, but it wasn't... It's like he was seeing himself, but not himself, like his actual reflection, just like what he thinks he sees of himself and he's punching that. Um, so I see a lot of this is maybe less about a relationship, maybe more about the different identities he probably carries as an idol and as a, a celebrity and who he is as his own personal self. But yeah. Let's keep going. Oh, wait, no, the other thing I wanted to point out was uh, I really love the vocal delivery of the chorus. It's like he mixes in like this emo, emotional type of belt. And then on the second part of the chorus, the response to like the belt at what would be the belt is almost like an R&B falsetto. And I just, I love that playfulness of genres there with that. Can't hold it back, I'm suffocating, you're controlling me, and I can't escape, oh no. I wish I would've known about your evil plans. 
keep falling for these childish games are getting old to me I don't wanna play oh no I never really needed you to hold my hand usually don't know how to handle these things but I'm trying my best can't you tell one last breath in me I know you want to take it away you got your hands around my throat so I only breathe when I'm alone Like, yeah, that mirror shot, he's seeing himself in the mirror. But it's him in a suit. Hmm. Something about this shot here when he's in the phone booth. I don't know. It's just so emotional to me. You can like see the veins popping out. Oof. After bark. <laughs> As for, like, I guess my theory of the video is maybe he's, we've seen throughout with a lot of GOT7's uh, solo debuts, them shedding different various aspects of their idol personas, I think. Um, and I think for Mark, the way this was portrayed was a bit of that. I think the suit, like tied up, like a tired one, a tired version of himself is like that perfect image that you kind of have to put on as, as an idol. And now that he's kind of free from the whole idol contract and he's doing his own thing, I think this is his debut of that, like his his stepping out is like, all right, this is my route. This is my path I'm going now. And this was him, in a way, I think, shedding that persona. I don't know. That's just my interpretation. Um, especially with him, like, being, like, that last shot of him, like, in the ocean, swimming and being angry and upset. But then it's the next shot is him, like, coming up from that bathtub. But he is in that suit, almost like... I don't want to say, like, taking your own life sort of vibes or anything like that, but, like, ending that part of yourself and, like, abruptly and just being like, all right, it's done. Um, but that was such a good debut for him, I think. And it, it's so different from all the things I've seen from him. Like, there was one in a million, which already, like, I did, I think I've mentioned before, does have that sort of, um, it had like a kind of, I don't want to say angsty, but like just kind of like somber feel to it. And then they're going to come down just complete 180 from that feel. So warm, so upbeat, so, so fun. And then now this last breath, which is just, I, I want to compare it to lonely just because I think in terms of emotional depth, that's the other song I can think of from, re and at least in recent memory, um, of GOT7 releases that, or GOT7 solo releases that are like that emotionally dense. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's stream the shit out of this forum. Anyway, I love you guys. Stay safe. Take care. Until next time. Peace.